Hi boss babes, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here to this community, welcome. My name is Alyssa, boss babe and owner of an online store called Listique and I'm so happy to have you guys here with me today. Here on my channel you can find all things from a BTS of a boutique owner, entrepreneur life, a boss babe, tips and tricks on business, hauls and so much more you guys do not want to miss out on a video so go ahead and subscribe if you are not already and make sure to hit that little bell icon that way you get notified every time i upload a new video so and for today's video as you can see by the title we're going to be unboxing some inventory for my online boutique listique specifically a jewelry inventory i haven't really sold jewelry in my store before but i'm slowly starting to bring in some more jewelry pieces accessories and all of that good stuff into my store because you know I want to be able to cater to everyone's styling needs so it's been quite a while since I have filmed a sit down unboxing video with you guys so I'm so excited to be doing that with you guys today if you guys own a boutique yourself maybe this video will give you guys some cool inspiration on what to bring into your store and if you guys are just interested in seeing what I'm bringing into my store by the time this video goes up I should have everything on the website already so I will be linking everything I'll be showing in this video in the description down below so please make sure to check that out before we continue on this video I did quickly want to mention a new series that I have here on my channel that just started it's called a boss up with Liz and basically this series is all about women in business and encouraging you all to start your own business if you guys have been thinking about starting a business you don't really know exactly where to start or what type of business you're interested in I'm going to be interviewing so many boss babes in this series that already have their own businesses and they're doing the damn thing so if you guys are interested in that series please make sure to subscribe and also check out the playlist where I will be having that series located on this channel so if you guys are interested in that content you do not want to miss out on any of those videos make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel so that way you guys see every time one of those videos are uploaded I will continue to post my regular content here besides the series in between um, as I'm filming the series so you know it might be a little bit scattered but just make sure to find that playlist under my channel and you guys can see the whole series there from start to finish. Also, before we continue on in this video, I did want to give today's shout out and today's small business shout out goes to Liz the Label. Thank you so much for watching my videos, girl. I truly appreciate your support. It really does not go unnoticed. If you guys would like a small business shout out, all you have to do is comment down below. Let me know what your small business is and it might be featured in my next video. But with all that being said, you guys, if you guys are interested to see what I am bringing into my store, then go ahead and keep on watching. I have a big box right here as well as some other stuff here on the side that I'm going to be showing you guys today. So with this vendor, I did place the order online and I went to go pick up in person today at the wholesale district in Los Angeles. I do have a video all about um, some vendors in the wholesale district of Los Angeles, like where I shop for my boutique and all that. I'm going to go ahead and leave that in the iCard right now if you guys are interested in that video. But yeah, so I just pretty much went to just pick it up in person. And obviously I know what I ordered from online, but it's always different when you see it in person, like, and get to see the quality and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Oh, you guys, it's been such a long day. I woke up early, went to the wholesale district, met up with some other boss babes, came home, packed some orders, now I'm filming. We gotta shoot some new revivals tonight, so the hustle does not stop, girl. We got so much going on today. Probably gonna need a second cup of coffee in a bit. For now, I'm drinking my water, okay? Coffee, hydrate, then more coffee. Ooh, so exciting. Opening boxes is always just such an exciting feeling, especially when like, you forget what you ordered or you just haven't seen it in person yet. It's always the best feeling ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it here to the side. That way I can just pull from here and show you guys what I ordered. Okay, so the first item I see here is a bucket hat. Um, I actually have had bucket hats in my store already and they actually do really well for me. Um, my last vendor that I was getting them from though completely sold out and they never brought them back in anymore. So I found this new vendor that has that sells these bucket hats 
and I got them in two different colors. So the first color I got is just in regular black one, of course. I feel like if you're going to bring bucket hats into your store, you should go with some basic colors, of course, like a black or like a white, and then maybe another color. I also do carry the fur, the faux fur bucket hats in my store as well, like the whole 90s vibe, and I just freaking love them. But this is what it looks like on. What do you guys think? I don't know. For me personally, I really do like bucket hats, and I feel like it's one of those things if you grew up in the 90s you just like 90s style a little bit more um, but even teenagers and people nowadays are into the whole 90s look um, but it's definitely you know like a specific style but I think it does well in my store so I decided to bring it in so I brought it in black and I also brought it in this olive green color you guys I'm obsessed with olive green. If you do not know, my favorite color is olive green. I hope to have an olive green G-Wagon one day. Okay, manifestation. Speak it into existence. But seriously, I'm obsessed with the color olive green. And especially right now in the fall time. This is more of like hunter green though. If you guys can see it right here. This is it. And this is what it looks like. What do we think? But yeah, I really do just love different shades of greens right now, like the olives and the brown tones look so cute right now in the fall time. So I decided to try this color out in my store. I don't know how my customers are going to respond or if they like it. So I only got a few of these to bring in to test it out. But I personally love this color, so hopefully it does well. Okay. Sorry, I'm just seeing that they stuffed some, you know, those felt fedora hats into this box and I can see a dent already and that kind of pisses me off because I even myself know that you need to ship those in bigger boxes because you don't want them to get smashed so it's at the bottom right now we'll see in a second anyways moving right along next item we have here are some earrings these earrings are so cute they're just like these little gold hoops they're those like tiny chunky hoops that are in right now like if you can see the side of it has like a pretty big width and i think they're just so dainty and cute for the fall time right now or even just anytime all year round i love hoops i'm such a hoop girl but um, i usually wear bigger types like bigger hoops and i don't know something about the tiny dainty ones lately i just really really like so i brought those in gold as well as as well as the silver I personally am more of a gold girl but obviously I wanted to have options for customers because sometimes people have a preference for silver over gold so that's why I decided to bring that in right, you guys moving right along to the next items are going to be some purses so I've recently I just started bringing purses into my store because I really want to start incorporating like full outfits that you can shop from my store obviously so you can accessorize, get clothes, and get like a whole outfit together. So that's why I decided to start bringing in purses because sometimes purses, you know, tie a look together and I think it'd be really fun to make content with purses. So that's why I decided to bring in some purses and this one I have right here is so freaking cute and I can already tell it's a pretty good size. I wasn't expecting it to be this large but let's go ahead and open it up okay so it comes in just like the plastic and this cool little duster bag which is nice whoa this is actually way bigger than i was expecting it to be so this is that like crocodile print that pleather print very cute right now and very trendy so i have it in this black color right here let me show you guys this is really spacious so it comes with this hook, it comes with two different types of. So that's the first strap right there if you kind of wanted just to have like a short strap vibes, super cute. So that's the first strap and then it also comes with the longer chain strap. So if you wanted to loop that on and wear it like a crossbody, you can do that as well. It comes with the chain. But these are just so cute and it has like a lot of space let me show you guys it actually has a lot of space um i thought this bag was going to be a little bit smaller because if you see these bags around they're like small little side bags that 
you know, it kind of reminds me of the 90s also where, you know, those like tiny handbags were in. But this is a pretty good size bag and I really like it. I might have to keep one for myself. But that is this one. I did bring it in one more color. Okay, so this is the other color right here. We also brought that bag I just showed you guys in a white color. Ooh, this is pretty. You know, I've said this before in my videos. Whenever you're bringing something in, you always want to stick with the um, colors that you know are going to do well. So obviously like blacks and whites. They didn't actually have this bag in other colors. Maybe I would have bought it in like a pop of color. But I just went with the black and the white since I know... You know, people tend to stick to like neutral colors. So it's the exact same bag. Let me show you guys. So it's literally the exact same bag, but in white. And I actually really dig the white color as well. It's more fresh and like brighter. If you have like a lighter outfit to pair this with, it would be super cute. So that is this one. All right, you guys, moving right along to what else is in the box. I brought in some hats. These hats do really well for my store. I've brought them in different sizes, different colors before, and people are really digging these hats right now in my shop. So I decided to get another type of style. Sorry, I'm inspecting it because like I said, it was kind of at the bottom and smashed a little bit, which I'm kind of upset about because these hats can get dented easily and they can get like ruined, so. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. It has a little dent. Hopefully I can fix it if I just like maybe place it with like on one of those little heads or maybe I could put something in it to kind of hopefully get that dent out. But it is this gorgeous felt. I believe these hats are called Panama hats. Um, this brim does seem like a medium sized brim because I have seen brims that are a little bit like longer where they come out more and then I've seen the smaller brims. So it's all just preference. My customers, I've tried all of the different sizes and people respond well to them. So if you guys see these hats, you definitely should try them in your store because they are super cute right now for the fall time. Let me show you how it looks on. So this is what it looks like on. Let me know in the comments down below if you're into these hats right now and if you like them, if you sell them in your store, because I think they're super cute. This one specifically has that belt detailing on the side and I actually like how it has, this belt has that like Coachella um, vibes to it because it has that like print on the little clasp of the belt. So I haven't seen one like this yet. Hopefully it does well in my store. Okay, moving right along. I only have a few more left to show you guys. So this next item right here are some hoops and it comes in various sizes, if you guys can see that. They're just some regular gold hoops. Um, they range from like small to like a pretty, pretty decent large size um, but I thought I'd bring these in just because myself personally I'm such a hoop lover that these types of hoops are just staples to have at home um, in various sizes that you could just throw on with an outfit and you know it's pretty cheap just to buy it like a pack like this so I thought I'd try these in my store I brought them in gold moving on to the next one another pair of hoops you guys, I'm telling you, I am a freaking hoop lover. But these ones are a little bit more chunkier, a little bit bigger. They're kind of similar to the first ones that I showed you, those like little mini ones with the like the width that's like a little bit wider. But this one is um, like obviously a bigger, like a bigger hoop. Um, and then the sides are pretty thick as well, but not as big. So these are super cute. I brought these in just gold. And then these next two items are a little bit more like fancier. I thought I'd bring in some fancier pieces of jewelry for the holidays so you guys can dress up with your holiday outfits. So this right here is the next pair. It is these beautiful earrings. They're like teardrops. These are definitely a statement type of earring. Um, I brought them in this crystal silver color. Um, but yeah, they're just going to be like dangly ones. And I think they're just super extra. And if you guys wanted to like spice up your holiday outfits, this is definitely screams holidays to me. And then these next set of hoops right here are just diamond hoops. Hopefully you guys can see them. They have like the studded diamonds along the sides. And personally, these are my favorite hoops to wear are the diamond studded hoops because they're just like hoops but more extraness if you guys like that extra look, you know, to be like blinged out. But 
I brought them in silver. Um, they did have them in gold as well, but I figured I would try it out in my store in silver. Since I know that bling hoops are probably going to be a little bit out of comfort zone for people, so I thought I would just bring it in silver first to see how it does, but I really like them. The studs on them are nice and dainty. They're not too big and like too flashy. So these are super cute. All right, you guys, this is the last item right here and it is another purse. It's this mini purse. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm telling you guys, I'm obsessed with like the mini purses right now. This is also like that croc um, print and I brought it in just black, but it has just like a one small strap right here. It also has this gold long one. So of course you can wear it crossbody if you want to. I personally probably would wear it a lot just like the smaller handbag way because I think it's just super cute. These types of bags are really trendy right now, so if you guys can get a hold of some and bring them into your store, I suggest you try it out. But this is definitely more of a mini bag. It's not that big, so you would probably just hold like a lip gloss and like a credit card in this one. But it's more for just like a statement, you know? Just for like an OOTD picture. So that is super cute. All right, guys, that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching with me until the end and unboxing some inventory with me for my store. I hope this video helped you guys get some inspiration or even if you guys just like this types of video because I know I like watching these types of videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy this content. Leave me some comments down below on what you guys think about the items that I'm bringing into my store. Also, don't forget if you guys want to be next video's shout out for your small business, go ahead and leave a comment down below with your business at. That way I can go ahead and check it out and you guys get a chance to be featured in the next video. Thank you guys all so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers, which is so cool. I love that I get to grow here and meet so many other people on the internet that also have businesses and we could just connect and just talk about business and all that good stuff. So I really would love for you guys to join my community here. If you are not subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe before you head out. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.